is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling. Today I'm bringing you a topic that I know a lot of people have been talking about within the wrestling community and if you haven't been talking about it, I'm pretty sure you have been thinking about it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we all remember, um, literally a few months ago WWE started to book a long term story which is something you don't really see anymore um, and it had relevance to the Otis and Dolph Ziggler feud. Um, so, this long-term story that they started booking, the SmackDown Hacker. Now, I'm sure you will remember, has the little, like, you know, Mustafa Ali little light thing, and, you know, um, cutting little vignettes of them in a hoodie talking, and there was stuff going out on social media before it hit TV, there was coordinates, there was tweets, um, there was loads of stuff, and it was one of these storylines that, myself included, a lot of people we're very much looking forward to seeing it um, play out and then seeing it come to an end to see who was actually behind it all. Now, there was people placing bets all over. Was it Chad Gable, uh, Shorty G? Was it Mustafa Ali? Was it Robert Roode? I predicted all along Mustafa Ali. Um, but recently, bearing in mind for months, the SmackDown Hacker has been a weekly part of SmackDown. I think the last three weeks, He's been non-existent, and he was non-existent at Backlash. This is not a good sign. SmackDown is tonight. This will mark the fourth week without him, meaning it's pretty much been an entire month without the SmackDown hacker. I'm saying now that if he's not on SmackDown tonight, pretty much be prepared to believe that the whole storyline has been scrapped. Now, WWE are known for scrapping storylines um, fairly often, but these are normally bad storylines, storylines that they don't see a good payoff for. Um, not something like the SmackDown Hacker that has been in development since, I want to say, early February. Uh, I don't know if that's right, but it feels like it's been since that point. And without a proper payoff, it's... It just feels like a waste. I mean, the SmackDown hacker is the only reason Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville were feuding. He was the one that outed Sonya Deville was um, betraying Mandy. So, you know, the SmackDown hacker has contributed to a lot of current storylines that are still taking place. But for some reason, he just hasn't been on SmackDown recently. Now, I'm fingers crossed hoping that he appears tonight and makes his return. But I'm saying to you guys now, if he doesn't return on SmackDown tonight and it's been a whole month without him, expect him to not return. Anyways, what do you guys think about the SmackDown hacker? Do you think it was a good storyline? Do you think it was a bad storyline? Do you think it's going to come back to some capacity? I hope it does. I was really enjoying it, really getting into it. But hey, if WWE scrap it, then... What can we do? But I've been Joe from Joe Tots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.